Afternoon. Well, I've been pissing about with a CCTV system today. I've got two of my cameras up and working, so I've got to get another two working. But I've just realised it's the King's coronation bollocks today, and and then I was told there'd be no post today, man. So it's a three day bank holiday or something, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I've been sat today waiting for Underseal to turn up for this, and it's not going to happen. So it's a bit drizzly, but I've had enough. Just phoned Jay. I'm going to get on a trailer, get down to Jay, uh, get out of my way, because I could do the space for a bit. So let's get it on the trailer. And we're off. Got my flask. Yeah, it's raining, but it's only drizzle. Uh, hopefully that card's gone. I've only got four miles, five miles to go, so you might see me on one of those recovery pages later for only having a couple of straps on. I'm literally going down the road, man. It's not far. It's got the winch on. Strap there, straps the other side. That'll do. Let's go, because I don't want to get too wet. Cheers. Oh, well, look where we are. JM Details, it's in a bay, well, it's not a bay, what's this called? It is storage a bay, storage bay, one of the bays, it's a storage bay, ready for paint. There's the big man there. Hi. There he is. Hi. J JM Details, I'm gonna... you're looking forward to painting this. Yeah. 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 It's been a long time coming, isn't it? Yeah, here's the dog, that's Enzo, that is. We'll show you Enzo another day. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. So, gonna be uh, updating us with loads of videos, Jay. Yeah. So Jay's gonna do videos for himself for TikTok, innit? You do TikTok, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah you do. You TikTok do TikTok. Lot, yeah, why not? So yeah, so Jay will be doing his own videos, but he'll send me those videos, and I'll use those videos as well, obviously. And I'll come down here and have a look at the progress. Because uh, Jay's my mate, and I only live not far away, like so. Be uh, be happy to have me here and having a mooch, wouldn't you? That's it, yeah. Keep uh, loads of updates on the videos, like cause we've been doing a video per week, so it'd be nice if we can get enough footage to Saturday morning, upload some videos of the prog progress on it, like so. Yeah, Monday's out Friday. Like I said, Monday's out Friday, and we'll be working on the roll page, I think, is one of the first things. Tidy up the front bumpers and everything, getting them uh, front and rear bumpers fitting better is um, going to be one of the first things we're doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, windows are coming out Friday. I don't know if you heard Jay there because we had a lot going on. But windows are Friday. Then he's going to tackle the roll cage and the bumpers first. That's so the first thing on the list is bumpers, windows out, roll cage. Tidying up the floor that I've uh, made not pink yeah, anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, man. So that might be uh, some of the first week's footage of the bumpers and things like that. So bear with us and uh, yeah, man. I'm just. Uh, Glad to see the back of it for now. I love the mm -hmm. car, man. No, I don't get me wrong. I've loved the car. I've enjoyed working on it. But, man, it's just, it's just nice to drop it to you, man. It's nice to drop it to you, man. So, yeah, man. See you in a bit. Well, before I left, I thought I'd carry on with the video with Jay because I wanted to show you around the workshop. And uh, he's just disclosed to me that this, this, is, uh, this is his, man. It's a Fiat 500. He's had it years. So it needs a, uh, yeah, it needs a fair bit of love, that. Yeah. Good deal. So, I didn't imagine to say Jay for saying it's his car, man. You know what I mean? I didn't think you'd say it was yours, Jay. Yeah. So, how did you end up with that? Uh, in the engine, first, aren't you, Am I? <laughs> Does it need engines? No, I've got, it's, it's got the works. It came to me as a um, full, complete car, would you believe? But sadly, it's been uh, stored in an outdoor barn for about seven years or so. Same that it is. I ain't that bad, bruv. Seen worse. Same that it is. Well, it's got new floor pans and everything, and it's got a hard one, new panels and bits and pieces on there, but like I said, it's just been stored then. So, what, you're going to keep it? Yeah, yeah. Is it well, just because, like, what? Well, because it's Italian? Apparently. Because <laughs> it's Italian. It's a, it's a funny little thing when it's like. It's got a thing about Italian it's, stuff, ain't it? It's, it's hilarious little thing when it's like. I love it. Yeah, look at the, uh, look at the camber. Adverse Canva, look here now. Is it adverse? That we call it adverse. Oh, I can't fucking remember. It didn't look right, it didn't look right, does it? Uh, be good when it's done. Well, let's have a look next door. Right, we're in the next workshop now. So, what's that, Jack? Uh, Bristol 400. Bristol 400. And uh, what's your job on that? Full restoration, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Probably looks nice anyway. And there's a bit of love, doesn't it, down there? Yeah, well, well, okay. well, 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 
Oof, look down there. What's this one, just a blowover? Uh, it's gone a little bit past that, but yeah, you can see that. It's supposed to be a blowover, yeah. and then you find loads of issues. Yeah, those just weren't too happy with how straight it was and stuff, so we've um, gone a little bit further than we needed to, but they'll come out nice. So. Yeah, just don't knock the wiring when you're in it. Don't touch the wiring. Because uh, if you, 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 you just disturb that wiring, it will set on fire whilst it's here, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, right, let's have a look next door. Oh, yeah, we put the dog away because he's fucking noisy, man. <laughs> Watch this. Oof, this is the Italian bike. It's got nothing Italian in it, you know what I mean? But look at Italian on the floor, look. Look at that though, man. Is that a gen? Mm -hmm. Is that genuine? No. Oh, I was going to say. Uh, genuine's got 750,000 upwards or something, isn't it? Yeah, but you can afford that. Is your car up on the wall? Okay. Uh, I'm out there. Let's have a look. Oh, look. There's Jay's Maserati. There's another one he did. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at that. That's a good picture, isn't it? The lights are all over it. Let's have a look. Look at that. That's a nice picture, that, Joe. You have to get me one. <laughs> look at that. Has he got a 427 in it? No. Uh, oh. Hey, make some all right noises, eh? Oh, yeah, they sound all right until you open the bonnet. And it's a massive disappointment, isn't it? It's like them push up bras. You take it off, it's a massive disappointment, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's a lovely looking car, though, isn't it? Seems lovely looking. I suppose you want, well, don't really want much more than a Rover in it, dear. It weighs nothing, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah that's it. All right. oh, and this one, right, this is from my neck of the woods, uh, Longbridge Rover, the old Rayland. This is, uh, this is a bit special, this, isn't it, bro? Mm. It's uh, MG Super Sports, one of one concept car. MG Super Sport, one of one concept. Wide body, supercharged. Super Sports K Series? Yes. Supercharged K-Series in here. I know a lad would like that, Lee. And, uh, yeah, man. Convertible. With the arm. He's wide, isn't he? You ain't trying to paint match it, are you? You're going to give it a full paint? I was going to say, you ain't going to paint match that, are you? That's proper. Is it? That's proper pillars, isn't it? That's the stuff that changes colour in the sun, isn't it? So yeah, there's an, oh look at this, you, I didn't know you had a sofa, don't tell me that's Ren's, <laughs> is, that, is that the dog sofa? He knows it from that. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, I've never been in the back, of, fuck me look, it looks posh in here bruv. Well. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell. So well, next time I come down here, you want to feed me lunch or what? Do no, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> is that what you, a chocolate look, a chocolate. Look, Evan brought me flask down here with me today, a chocolate man. It's posh in here, isn't it, bro? It's getting there. Work in progress. Yeah, Something man. But I like these lights. I, I, I think I'll put these lights in my double garage at home when I finish the painting and decorating it. Look nice in there, wouldn't they? Do you reckon with the Jag and the Cozzy lights? Yeah, sure. It would look nice. That's more of JM details. So get on to. You, you haven't got your website, have you? Uh, I don't really use you it. Don't use the website. Uh, Facebook, Instagram is the best way to find me. Facebook, Instagram, JM details on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. And uh, TikTok as well, you do, don't yeah, you? Because he's down with the kids, man. He's down with the kids. He does TikTok. Uh, I try from time to time. So, yeah, get on all, all them platforms, and Jay's going to be updating throughout the weeks snippets, do you know what I mean? Not 30 minute videos. He's going to be doing a few minute videos here and there of uh, Project Pinky, Project 2000, uh, RS Jamie's Escorts. And, uh, yeah, you can see snippets throughout the week on Jay's platforms, and then on a Saturday, we'll have a compilation video throughout the week. Posted up Saturday mornings like I've been doing. So it's going to be a review for like a month, isn't it? Yeah. So it's going, to, it's going to be, isn't it? So we've got, it's May now, so if we can get it back for the start of June and then I can get it put back together internally, like dashboard, seats, carpets and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Uh, back box exhaust, things like that. And then I can get it, was it Ju July's the uh, Max Power, isn't it? It is. So Jay's coming to Max Power as well. So you'll see, you'll see all of us at Max Power. So yeah, there you go. Right, so I'm going to leave it there. Finish my chocolate. See you later. Say bye, Jay. See you later. Morning. Guess what we're up to? <laughs> Mackie D's breakfast and there. Uh, because it's just over there. Though. And we were supposed to be going to uh, a classic car show today. Welsh, was it Welsh Classics, is it? Festival. 
and uh, he's found out he's been cancelled but the, all the group are still meeting over there so I'm going to catch up with him and, uh, but we're having our breakfast first look at that look and we've done the usual um, what's that called again? Ash brown between the burger and the egg look I did a bit of salt so that's my breakfast wife's happy again <laughs> see you in a bit well we uh, made it to this South Wales car festival thing and uh, there's a fun fair here isn't there look but uh there's a row of supercars up there called the Sub 5 Second Club. There's about, I don't know, 10, 10 supercars. McLaren, Ferrari, Lambos, SVJs, things like that. Um, and then beyond this, I'll show you some more cars. But uh, I've seen better look in Tesco car parks, man. It's uh, where we've parked. I've come with the Welsh Ford Group. Loads of, loads of top-class Fords. We're in the car park outside because the event was cancelled because of rain. Well, they haven't cancelled it. They cancelled all the cars going on the grass over there. So we're all outside. Dumped the cars outside, so. I'm gonna have this, and I think I'm gonna make my way back to the car. Look at that, the wife knows how to treat me, look. Hot oh, look, hot chocolate with a flake, man. Cheers, babes. See you later. Yeah, look, we've come back outside, and uh, this is the car park that we're in. Loads of Fords. Loads of uh, other modified cars, and like I said, it's better than the show, man. The show's like a big giant Tesco car park. It's random, random. Don't know how they got the nerve to call it a festival. So we're gonna go and have a look at another car uh, club now and we'll have a look on the way back. Cheers. There's a wife walking back to the cosy. We've come to this place, uh, ca a castle, castle something. Um, there you go. Look, there's a castle there. There's a classic car show. But there's some modern stuff here but loads of classics man and I walked, I drove up to the entrance and he said just drive into the shop next to all the Americans man so we're here uh, turned up here I'll tell you what this is much better it's more more machine man it's much better uh, ignore these few here but the rest of them it's more more machine so take a few pictures and we'll have a mooch around here so you're thirsty ain't you yeah. so we'll go and get the wife a drink alright in a bit we're going to have a mooch around this show like and uh Look at that. First car I've come to have a look at. Oof. XJ40. Yeah, we're gonna have a good mooch. I think they call it, it's a um, Morris Minor Club meet in it or something. Something like that. So, but look at that. It's nice that. Looking at that cream, I think that's been painted up. It looks too nice. Yeah, that yeah, must have been. But it is nice. Very nice. XR Owners Club. Thought I'd seen my Alan here today. We've got a couple of Mark 5 Escort Cabriolets. Mark 4 Cabby. I mean, there's a Mark 6 down there. But now Alan. He could have brought his XR6. Sat chilling for a bit now, man. Brought some nice deck chairs. Well, they're not deck chairs. What are they called deck chairs? Well, they are camping chairs. So I got the big one, obviously. I mean, big ass. Cause what? Real big ass. My big ass. <laughs> so my cousin's got a big ass in this picture, man. Fucking hell, it just about fits in the camera frame. But yeah, man. This show's been better, hasn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean, so we'll uh, chill out for a while now. Might get another drink from the castle before I go. Just put my feet up for a bit now, and then. Off, off we go back home, innit? It? It's been nice. They, this has made it, though, innit? Yeah, yeah. That fest, that <laughs> South Wales <laughs> festival, um, yeah, it wasn't a festival, was it? I think they spent more time on the, was it, the fun fair and the food and drink and, and then basically told everyone to not go to Tesco's this morning and go to that festival instead, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, so, yeah, that was horrific, man. That was horrific. But fair play, the Welsh Ford boys have all turned up here as well, so you've got all the Welsh Ford boys here. Uh, there's some more over there as well. So, uh, yeah, man, this was a nice show. But uh, that's me. Week. That's was it Sunday today, isn't it? Bank holiday tomorrow, so I might get back in the workshop tomorrow. I might. So tomorrow, so just chill out tomorrow. What should I do? Should I go in tomorrow? <laughs> I got to weld my gates on. I got to weld my gates on. So yeah, I might not do work. I got. Anyway, before she starts writing the list, I'm gonna go. See you later.
<laughs> oh, uh, we're on our way home now, and Jay, Jason at James Details, he um, messaged me on the way back. I saw it on WhatsApp, so I've pulled in. And uh, been grafting already, yeah? Oh, I've been good a bit. Do you want to show them? What are you doing, Jay? Come on, what are you doing? All right, well, um, cardboard template just for the mocking up of how we want the bumper to sit. That's what we've been doing today. So, I've seen every man and his dog on YouTube had an opinion about me cutting, cutting this and adding, what would it be, 10 mil, do you reckon? Yeah. 10 mil in there. Yeah. Uh, it might be a bit more, but it's not that simple. Uh, this is an original F2 show, and I, don't, I, I decided not to sacrilege and cut it, like, because the max power bumper on the back was moulded to match the rear quarter. So, why not mould the front one? They didn't. We can. Um... Uh, Jay Samson Pooch just popped in and Jay had it a little bit tight in there. Uh, it's about, it about there, wasn't it? And it just, to me, it squared it off and I want to keep the hourglass. It's not much, it's subtle. Do you know what I mean? But it goes in, comes out again. Because the Mark 6 is, isn't a square car, it's a round car. So just wanted to keep that. So basically that's it, isn't it? We've just come to that come to agreement there. Like. Just a template at the moment, just to get yeah. the uh, fans in place. But... Glad I you now. Yeah. That's just a template with cardboard and tape, but it gives you a bit of a better perspective of what we're going to do with the front bumper, doesn't it? So, yeah, man, I think that's the first time the Cozzy and Pinky have been anywhere near each other. I think it is. Yeah, because that's been in the workshop all the time and that's been in my garage, so. Anyway, there you go. Pinky, meet the Cozzy. Hey, you're going to be best of friends one day. We're on show together. Yeah, I'm knackered now, mate. I am knackered. So, say goodbye again. See you later. See ya. Oh, the wolf's here. Oh, there's Enzo. Look, like I said I'd show me this today, didn't I? Say hello, Enzo. Look at the size of him. Look at that. He'll eat ya. Stick your yeah. finger in his mouth. There ya. You. You'll lose it. He's going to bite you. Oh, look how savage he is, man. <laughs> He's savage, man. Savage dog. He messed up your nose yesterday. He did. I look like I've been punched in the face. Thanks, Enzo. That's what she's been telling me all day, mate. Punched in the face. He didn't mean it, did he? He didn't mean it. I know, it. you feel. Too much playing. Oh, <laughs> see ya. Afternoon. Uh, busy today. Trying to have a reorganiser stuff. So these have come up from my storage shop. Because uh, <clears throat> in the way. That one, I think, is going to be pulled apart now. I'm using bits for other things. Um, I want to put some different spec pistons in there, you see. So I'm going to pull that apart and rebuild it another day. Parts ain't going anywhere. Um, just the pistons have been using something else. I'll tell you about that engine. I told you in the past, but I'll tell you what that is later date. I'll go over that again. But uh, we're on that next as well. Oh, as you can see. Uh, I don't know, as you can see, really, can you? But I've got to, tomorrow, get those wheels off me cosy and take them to Nankang tomorrow. But, I've had this turn up today. Um, max speeding rods. So, max speeding rods have sent me a turbo. They messaged me um, and asked me if I could make use of anything. And I was like, <clears throat> well, they saw we was working on a pink car. And says, can you make use of anything? And I was like, I don't know what you got, like... And there was like, oh, coilovers. I was like, mm, not for the pink car. I'll have some coilovers off you though, do you know what I mean, for an Escort. And, or actually, I said, I said I'll have them off you for a Subaru because they can go on the van because I've got a set on there. Um, but they decided not to send me a set of coilovers. They sent me a turbo instead. It's a T3 flange, I'll go over it now, I'll have a look. I'll, I'll unpack it and uh, show you what they've sent me. So, what do we put it on? Let's have a head scratch and think what we put it on. Let's unpack it. Back in a minute. Well, there you go. It's a GT35, uh, one of their GT35 ranges. GT35, 32, something like that. Look at that. that. Not a bad looking turbo, is it? They're playing there. Um, it came with downpipe flange and a T3 flange. What it doesn't come with 
is a uh, it's a water cooled turbo. Oil feed. Oil return there. Water cooled. It doesn't come with any fitting for the oil feeds or the water side of it really. So I don't know if they sell a little kit. Uh, I'll ask her. It's a tidy looking little turbo, isn't it? I'll we'll say little. It's a, it's a decent sized turbo though. Uh, comparison, I'll we'll say. There you go. Can of Coke turbo. It's a decent bloody sized turbo. Uh, what do we put it on? It's supposed to be good between, I think it was 550, 650, was it 5 and 650 or something like that? So it's a good, good spec. Um, yeah, it's a Chinese turbo, but so is basically the Pulsar turbo that I'm running on there. And people rave about the Pulsar turbos now. Um, and these used to have, I don't know, they're getting a lot better name, but the, um, the Chinese turbos. I haven't got much experience with Chinese turbos though. Tell me what you think I should put it on. Um, don't want to put it on anything too expensive. That uh, if, the, if this thing does fail, you know, don't want it to go down the inlet and run an engine. But, you know what I mean? Um, don't put it on the Jag. Do I make. Um, Six pot manifold for the Jag. Stick it on the Jag. I don't know. Probably get a ray on the Jag. Change the crank. But leave it as it is, but probably get away with running a 10 PSI for it through the Jag. I've seen people run turbos on them XA6 engines and that. They're doing all right, like. So I don't know. Let me know what you think, and we'll decide what to put the max speed in Roger Turbo on. It's got to go on something, can it? Um. Them engines are in here, like I said, because I'm making room down the other workshop. But I've got what I'm hoping tomorrow is a phone call telling me about uh, a mounting engine that I'm trying to get my hands on. Um, so it can be re rebuilt because it is just a, it's a mounting base, you know what I mean? So I can rebuild it and it's a mounting spec, a nice spec to go in, pinky. But if not, I've got a load of different engines and comp uh, compositions we can we can put together because uh, the engine's coming back out of that now as well. Um, that's a 2.2 on a forged engine. Um, the compression's not quite as high as I want, so I'm taking the engine out of that. Uh, so that's I don't know if that's about is it a value? I don't know. No, we've got options, man. We've got options. So just deciding what to do next. But again, I'm in the process of turning stuff upside down and moving around. I've got my shelf, uh, a shot blaster. So that's why these have come up here. Because I need to make room in the dirty workshop for a shot blaster. Um, I'll show you that in a bit when it goes in. Right. I'm going to crack on. See you later. Right, that I will show it back in. in it yesterday? Me? Where you were, yeah. Uh, I got hammered on the way back. Hammered on the way back, yeah. Really, really bad, apparently. Oh, uh, so. Anyway, ignore what he's on about the weather log, because I just started recording. Hello, hello Jay. Again, then. <laughs> right. Oh, Jay. Say hello, Mick. Hi. Say hello, Tig. What's that? Look, this is on YouTube. <laughs> We've come here to try these wheels on, and uh, everyone likes them, man. But the ET's banging. Absolutely perfect. ET15. Uh, four stud, no spaces on the back. We took the 30 mils off so I can space the hub because we've got there's like three degree camera on the back at the minute, isn't it? There's like race car camera on the back, it needs removing because it's going to be a road car now and straighten up that rear wheel. But there's no no spaces on there. But what I can do is space out the hub now instead of putting a wheel spacer on. But if you look, look at that perfect TT. Perfect, perfect width on the front, look. We'll bring it out. We'll bring the hub out. 15 mil, 20 mil on the back. Yeah. So they're very similar wheel to the original TSW Molos, but these are uh, Monza R's. With different centre cap, they've got a flat centre cap. So. 
Yeah, window man's coming in a minute. Uh, any minute now, really, to set the windows out. Uh, Jay started his butchery on the bumpers. Um, he was a bit worried about my face when I turned up. He says, your face don't look like you agree with Kev. He knows what I want, so. Know what I mean? But yeah, man. I think them wheels are banging. The ET is absolutely spot on. So I'm going to leave them wheels on for now so it gives us a better idea of which direction we're going and with fitment and stuff. Um, with that rear bumper, I'm going to slice down there and bring it in and do a plastic weld there so you'll have no lip there. Yeah, man. So next today's windows out and then Jay's going to paint boot floor and start prepping the cage. He's doing the inside first. Yeah man, so I think that's my last video. My, maybe I might do something about when I'm back at the house. Actually, actually yeah, I've got to add to it on back. So I might have to split my videos up this weekend between Saturday morning, Sunday morning. Jay's also releasing a video Sunday morning. So you've got a few videos this weekend. Oh, see you in a bit.